So Charlie, aka Moist Critical, and Sneeko had their second debate recently. This happened like a couple days ago, I believe. And some people don't like what Moist Critical or Sneeko is saying. They don't like their point of views, their beliefs, and especially Moist Critical is getting a little bit more heat than he did his last debate with Sneeko. And it seems like Sneeko's a lot more confident, or at least a lot more pushy in this debate than he was previously. You're gonna see a lot of topics brought up, and I'm gonna give a lot more of my opinion at the end of the video, but I'm just gonna try to get through these clips so you guys can see what is going on and i'm not talking a lot in between the clips anyways let's watch this first clip so the majority of europe at 16 is everybody in europe who abides by that who abides by the law are they pedophiles uh yeah in my eyes 100 and okay. in european society too fine if you have someone in their 20s that is fucking and marrying a 16 year old they too are excommunicated no no, no not excommunicated are they, ped are, are they pedophiles legal. Yeah. I understand some of these clips are going to be out of context, and I'm not going to know the context before or after the clip. But again, the full thing is like two hours long, and I'm not looking to go through all of it and see every little thing that they're talking about. I'm just trying to get a good sense on how both of them are doing and what kind of points they're bringing up. And I get it, getting these clips from Sneeko Updates account on X is not typically the best thing to do right now, because we're going to get a lot of pro Sneeko clips here. But regardless, I don't think that saves Sneeko at all, because he still looks like a giant buffoon during this entire thing. Thing. Regardless if me and Sneeko or me and Moist Critical, if we have things in common or not, especially on some of these points, the way that is put out there is not good. And the, what do I want to call it? The image that they're portraying while trying to debate and talk about these things look really, really bad. For this particular thing, I'm going with Moist Critical on this clip. I do believe the bar should be set at 18. So if a 20 year old is seeking out relationships with a 16 year old, I do consider a 16 year old a child. Regardless of whatever law said that the age of consent is 16, some states here in the United States have the law set at that. If I'm not mistaken on this, my own home state of Iowa, the age of consent here is 16 as well. And I don't agree with that at all. Throughout high school, I saw a lot of seniors who were like 19 years old dating girls that were freshmen who were 14 years old and i always thought that was absolutely disgusting but regardless let's get on to the next clip i'll share more of that opinion at the end of the video is it still your favorite movie no it was never my favorite movie that, that was clickbait but the reason that um that we debated about is because you didn't finish the movie right the girls started off in your world in the world where people can cut their penises off where girls are on tiktok at a young age where they're doing disgusting things where liberalism flourishes at the end of the movie the girls return to islam they find god that same girl who's doing degenerate acts who, who probably believed in transgenderism, this disgusting thing. She put on a job, she put her head to the floor and she prayed. And then we saw actual resolution. We saw the only way that she was gonna find peace and prosperity, the only way she was gonna be in a world that makes sense is under a God-fearing world. And then she changed. That's why I like the movie. <sighs> I know that Sneeko liked the movie or whatever, but if you want to tell a story about finding God or religion or getting away from your sinful ways, it doesn't have to involve actual children in the movie. The problem is, is that those children were dressed up and told to dance and do things in a very sexual way, and they were directed by an adult to do that. I find that to be a problem. And again, I don't care how good the story is, it is not okay for children to be doing stuff like that. I don't believe so. And I think anyone who likes that movie, you're going to be pinned as a PDF file. I know Sneeko was accused of this a lot, but there are stories just like the story in Cuties and how everything goes, how they're in this world and then they end up moving under religion and God and everything. There are stories out there that don't involve children. Those are the movies that people like Sneeko should be praising if he really cares about that story and that message. He should not be praising cuties as such because cuties is disgusting that they use child actors to do those sexual things, those dances and how they dress and all that other sort of thing. It is disgusting. It's just disgusting that it happens, okay? This is another point, I guess, to Moist Critical if we're doing points at all. But Moist Critical really doesn't bark back at this. Maybe he does in the full thing, but that's just one of the clips. On every single social media, his best friend oh! is attacked by everyone else until people were willing to come forward and defend him the first where, where's he getting it who attacked him who attacks St uh, you can't no, no, who, 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 would, who attacks sketch so many can people. you name one yeah myron what do you say i don't remember but he was in the you don't the remember pile up. nope but okay there, there was a ton i think he Most called about the hypocrisy if, if you can or, like or, remember or, a specific thing <laughs> what did he say Convy. what did Convy say he said that they should all be shot. Nope, that was two months before that. That was a clip out of context. He said that, I think about when XQC was uh, putting on dresses and, and talking about 
how it's uh, okay to kiss guys. Like maybe it was before that. He said that much before. That clip was not there. Convy actually, convy has been, def I, I talked about it. convy has been defending Sketch. Really? Yep. So they're talking about Sketch and how Sketch was attacked by a lot of people. And then there's a lot of people who went out to the defense. And then Sneeko went out there and said, hey, why isn't anybody calling this guy out? Why are people talking about this in the defense of Sketch and no one's being opposed to Sketch? While Most Critical, on the other hand, said there were people who were talking negatively about him. Now, they just might be talking about big influencers, bigger YouTubers, but there were definitely people out there who were talking bad or insulting or going after Sketch for the whole thing that happened with Sketch. Yes, did a lot of influencers defend him? Absolutely. Were there a ton of influencers who were going after him? Probably not, but there were still a lot of people online going after him. It's not that hard to find, you know, Sketch hate out there on the internet. Just because they weren't influencers doesn't mean another influencer can't stand up at the defense of Sketch. Again, I don't know the whole argument that they're doing there, but I don't see anything bad coming from Moist Critical besides he thought somebody was going after him or something like that. It's definitely something Moist Critical should have researched, though, prior to bringing it up right now if he wasn't absolutely certain of that. I, my definition is anything under 18. If is, under that's 18, exactly you're a what a child is. Yeah, I think that is a great line in the sand. If you are under 18, you are a child. Your scenario earlier was if a 16 and a 21-year-old if it, both parties were consent, if the father was okay with it, the mother was okay with it, why not? Tell me a reason why that's wrong. Because you're one getting- One is a child, one is not a child. That's the point. Do you believe that somebody can go through uh, hormone therapy? Can they change their gender if they're a child? I think that's totally fine as long as everyone is consenting. <laughs> as you agree with. Okay, so as long as everyone- your parents- are okay with it and you are okay with it i am i think that's totally a fam familiar decision to make yeah okay so a child can cut their penis off and take hormone blockers and change their biology forever but they can't get married all right two things about this one i agree with the bar being set at 18 i agree with moist critical here the bar set at 18 but i think that it applies even to the whole transgender surgery the hormone blocker pills or whatever cutting off you know their thing down there i think all that should be at the bar 18 if you're an adult you can go make those decisions as a child a child cannot go through that they can't consent to something like that moist critical on the other hand is okay with the child transgender surgery thing if everyone consents including the child but he's not okay with the marriage thing so again that might have been a little bit of a dilemma but this comes to the second thing those are two vastly different things i get it marrying somebody that can be reversed that can be done you can get a divorce you can separate that's not as long as a lasting impact as transgender surgery but there's a whole nother debate to get into if they're going to talk about child transgender surgery and stuff like that that's a whole different thing to talk about sneeko here is bringing up child transgender surgery he's bringing up all that sort of thing as a way to defend the point that kids should be allowed to get married kids in terms of 16 17 17 year olds maybe even younger than that i don't know where sneeko's bar is set at there should be a bar set somewhere of who is a child and who is not this does look bad for moist critical but again i bet it's something that moist critical is going to have to look more into and reflect on and see if that's actually his viewpoint or not it seems like moist critical maybe didn't do a lot of research on this at all so it definitely does look like a big l here but the other clips that i've seen so far aren't that bad but regardless let's watch the next clip you can get therapy you can go through the process of making that decision. I thought that's what it was. I thought he was just speaking in hyperbole with the dick cutting off shit. I thought that's what we were talking about. And then if you decide that's the path you want to take, it is your body, you can do that. You can make that decision once you become of age to make a decision like that. I just don't understand how it got so muddled. Half of the fucking conversation was hyperbole, and apparently that one was literal. Or it's a very malicious attack on what I'm trying to say or misunderstanding. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm just going to call it there. All right. Take it easy. Have a good night. See ya. All right. So, again, the title of this clip is Moist Critical was frustrated and abruptly ends stream after losing a debate against Sneeko. When this is not the case, he live streams for a whole nother 10 minutes before ending. So, it's not abruptly ending it. And even the little reader's notes thing right down here says that. 
I mean, you can obviously tell, you can see like the timer on his desktop and the hair change. There's an obvious cut there. But what he was talking about, like he apparently was talking about, you can go through the therapy as a child, but you can't do the surgery until you're of age. So Moist Critical kind of, he either changed it up or he clarified what he meant to say, which does add a little bit better stuff, but still going to therapy about it is still something the child should not go through. You can go to therapy about changing your body and cutting off your thing. You, you can go to therapy when you're an adult about that. But sending your child to that, even if your child wants to do that, your child doesn't really know what it wants until it's 18, I would say. Especially life-altering decisions like that. Again, at the bar set at 18 when they become an adult. Pretty clear, pretty cut, pretty consistent right there. Moist Critical, maybe he meant to say therapy and not surgery, or that's what he meant, like, or what he thought they were talking about in the last clip, but I don't know. Um, it, it's kind of muddled there. I guess Moist Critical will have to eventually address this someday. It doesn't have to be anytime soon, but I bet eventually people are going to want to know, a, like, a real opinion from him on this. My personal opinion, you can do what you want with your body if you're an adult, but as a child, keep that away. If they're under the age of 18, leave them the hell alone. If they want to turn 18 and do that, let them do it at the age of 18. Until then, don't be putting your child through crap like that. That is absolutely awful, in my opinion. That should, those are teenagers. A 17 and a 19-year-old, those are both teenagers. Okay, now they're that teenagers, not... but you just said 18 was an adult. Uh, I'm, yes, they are. You see, they are you see how the definitions keep... Okay, this was a really short clip, really out of context. I don't know what they're referring to. A 19 and an 18-year-old, I wouldn't consider teenagers. Teenager is a loose term that's mostly referred to the ages of like 13 to like 17. When you become 18 and above, 18, 19, that is, you're an adult. You're no longer a teenager. You're an adult at that point. Yes, do they have the ending teen and you can put teenagers technically applies to 18 and 19 year olds. But in the most general sense, high schoolers are teenagers and high schoolers are typically between the ages of 13 and 17. Yes, some people turn 18 when they're a senior or whatever and I get that but you're an adult who is finishing high school at that point you can technically still call yourself a teenager but in the more social sense of the name teenager or I should say the term teenager applies to the ages of 13 to 17 with 18 and 19 you're an adult at that point you no longer call yourself a teenager that's just my opinion I don't know if there's an actual to the books definition that's different but that is my definition what is your definition does that apply as well let me know what you guys think but that's just my opinion hormone block you could take hormone blockers you could take puberty blockers okay at, when you're a child when you're 16 you can go change your gender but you can't get married why is that yeah that's a fair point what, as much that, as i don't want to okay nick Merckx. i don't know who this guy is at all but he says that's a fair point to sneeko it, it's not because again one if you can go and take these hormone blockers and do this at the age of 16 i don't agree with that a person is not an adult until they're 18 and if 16 year olds are allowed to do this in other states or in other countries or wherever i don't agree with that i think that's absolutely awful so if moist critical is about to say that he is okay with teenagers 16 17 year olds doing that sort of thing then he's going to be taking a big fat l here because yeah that that is i guess a solid point if you're on that side of things but i'm not on that side of things i think that people going to take those sort of things hormone blockers and stuff like that at the age of 16 or 17 is absolutely awful you should be waiting until you're an adult 18 to do that sneeko is not even a person who is on that side he is just randomly taking this defense because again his his motivations are weird he thinks the age of consent is a bit fuzzy it shouldn't be 16 or 18 he believes that it like fluctuates on when someone is fully matured and when somebody is not and that's a horrible thing to do it because technically a 10 year old can end up claiming they're fully matured and their body's fully matured and if somebody claims that in sneeko's eyes is that okay for somebody to do that again i don't know he's not super super clear on this i, I don't know i feel like that's a pretty obvious question no, it's not. There are it's not. See, if you not if you cut your penis off, like Chris and Mr. Beast, if you cut your penis off, that is a life altering decision. You can't you can't glue it back on. You can get divorced if you get married. This is a commitment that you're taking. A child, based off the liberal point of view that you believe in, they can have gender surgery. What's critical? They can change liberal? forever. Do you believe that somebody can go through uh, hormone therapy? Can they change their gender if they're a child? I think that's totally fine as long as everyone is <sighs> consenting. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so as long as everyone- Your parents? Chad, this, this, 
Oh, this scene is so cooked, man. These YouTubers and these streamers and just this gaming community, man. It's just so different than what it used to be. And this world is changing. I don't like any part of this shit, man. How could he say that sentence out loud? Irreversible changes to the body as a child as long as they have consent from the parents. As far as this guy critical is concerned. What? Are okay with it? And you are okay with it? I am. I think that's totally a fam familiar decision to make, yeah. Okay, so a child can cut their penis off and take hormone blockers and change their biology forever, but they can't get married? Again, I don't know why Sneeko's making that argument in the first place. Is Moist Critical, in my opinion, wrong for his point on transgender surgery and hormone blockers and all this stuff to like 16, 17 year olds? Yes, I believe Moist Critical is wrong. I don't agree with that point at all. But I also don't agree. Why is Sneeko bringing this up if he's against that anyways in the first place? If he's against that, like, hey, 16, 17 year olds shouldn't be able to go do that, which I believe Sneeko is against that right I, I think he is but if he's against that in the first place why is he even arguing the point of like age of consent and how you know 18's not the bar but 16's not even the bar either like what is Sneeko doing here? I don't understand that I, I I can't say he's really consistent and if he's arguing is he arguing that point just for the sake of arguing it maybe he is being consistent and I just don't know but again what's the point of him arguing this if he's against like the whole transgender surgery and the hormone blockers like you're against that you're against children doing that but he's okay with children getting married. They're both inconsistent. Let's say that. Team Star. Critical versus Sneeko debate scorecard. Critical, negative 10 points. Sneeko, negative 10 points. Both lose by TKO. Hey, Keemstar, you're coping. You're trying to say that I'm a bad person for saying 16-year-olds can get married. Adults can get married after they reach puberty because you receive so much backlash for being 45 and marrying a 19 year old. Okay, so now we got a little bit of consistency. Maybe I should have started with this clip, but he believes 16 year olds are adults, which is pretty damn disgusting. Again, I don't know who Sneeko's with, but if he finds the love of his life and it turns out to be a fucking 16 year old, bro's gonna get cooked really bad online. But regardless, let's get away from that. I've already talked about Keemstar dating a 19 year old before. Again, is he allowed to do it legally? Yes. Even socially, most people would accept a 45-year-old dating or marrying a 19-year-old. I've said this before, this is my opinion on the past, if Keemstar can't find somebody his own age, if he can't simply be attracted to someone who's also in their 40s or whatever and close to his age, it does one, seem like a midlife crisis, but two, it seems like there's going to be certain motives on why a 19-year-old would want to be with a 45-year-old Keem and why Keem would want to be with a 19-year-old. Because again, you got to think, a lot of their similarities might not line up with both 19-year-olds, a man and a woman and having a lot of things in common, maybe 45 year old Keem is like a 19 year old person and all of his interests and music and movies and everything he's into. But typically you date someone near your age because you guys would have a lot of things in common. For example, a fresh 18 year old, someone who just turned to be an adult, isn't gonna go marry an 82 year old woman because they don't have a lot of things in common. A relationship would never work there in the first place anyways, at least not typically. So again, my gripes on him dating a 19 year old like Keemstar being 45 dating a 19 year old it's pretty much irrelevant because he can do what he wants it's legal it's fine it's whatever is it weird yes it's obviously weird that's my opinion i'm allowed to have that opinion i do feel like it's like a midlife crisis sort of thing he can't really go for somebody his own age like i do feel like personally it's something like a midlife crisis and also i feel like a 19 year old could probably put up with 45 year old keem a lot more than these women who are in their 40s because i think women in their 40s aren't going to put up with the bs that keem star is constantly dealing with and constantly doing all the time like Keem, sorry, he's a bit of a drama queen, okay? We all sort of know this. But him dating a 19-year-old, that 19-year-old might be able to bear it and deal with it better because they're in that wild phase of their life where they can deal with it. I'm pretty sure this 19-year-old, once they get old enough and they don't want to be around that stuff and they probably want to settle down or do something if that's what that 19-year-old wants to do, I'm sure maybe she's going to want to move on and not be with Keem no more, but I don't know. Especially when Keem starts to age and not be able to do as many things, but she's still pretty young because what's their age difference? Like 26 years? So then she's 45. He's going to be what? 71. So yeah. Anyways, that's my opinion on Keem. In terms of Sneeko, I guess that's just confirmation that Sneeko, he thinks 16 year olds are adults and that's pretty disgusting. But regardless, guys, that's pretty much the video. Again, I've said my opinion. 18 is the bar. Anyone below 18, they're pretty much considered a child at that point. I mean, we have 18 at a cutoff for a lot of different things, not just like what the law says or whatever. And again, the laws 
just different in different places, but just like socially and what social things are structured like, like for example, school. Most people are experiencing high school between the ages of 13 and 18 anyways. With most people who are turning 18, they are the ones who are graduating high school and moving on to a different chapter of their lives. For example, the workplace or college, where they're going to meet other adults there, not other children there not other 16, 15 year olds like it was in high school. And we do separate high school into your class. The class of a year, they're all going to be similar age, around the same age, with maybe a year up or a year below difference sometimes. Again, it's very rare because again, 13 to 18 is what you do going through school. High school is what I'm referring to. I heard this whole argument about, oh, if you're 16 and you can drive, then you can pretty much marry at that point. Sneeko, I think made a comment one time, if you can drive, well you should be able to marry well in that case if you're 16 and you're able to get your license and drive well you should be able to get married but the problem is is i started driving when i was 13 and i could drive pretty damn well when i was 13 does that mean i should be able to go out and get married with someone over the age of 18 at the age of 13 no that is not okay and that's a really dumb argument to make i got my permit when i was 14 and i was legally allowed to drive as long as i had a parent in the car or some other adult with their license in the car again the whole driving argument is really really dumb I don't understand that one at all. Some people saying that like your brain ain't fully developed until the age of 25. So should we move the age consent up to 25 because your brain's not fully developed? I think the whole brain develop argument is really, really dumb, but there is science that goes into how your brain is developing, especially in the later years of your childhood. And I'm talking about the ages of 16, 17, and 18. And 18 is a good cutoff point to start making big decisions about your life. Like if you want to move out of your house, if you want to go to college, what line of work do you want to get? into what do you want to specialize in etc 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 and this has been like this for a long time now i'm not saying that this has been the way of living for thousands of years i get it two three hundred years ago things could have been different there could have been very very young people marrying a lot older people but again we shouldn't style our way of life over something that happened hundreds of years ago we should just style our life on like what is the best option that's been working currently right now in the time that we've been alive a lot of us have grown up knowing that hey, when you're 18, you're an adult. At the same time, a lot of people have been called out for dating people who are below the age of 18 as wrong. We call them PDF files. I'm not going to say the actual word because I might get demonetized. But we've all known this for a long time. And I feel like anyone who's trying to argue against this, who's trying to break down that word, a PDF file, or trying to break down the age of consent into being something else that it's not been for a long period of time, it, it, obviously we're going to assume you have different motives. So I'm talking to like mainly Sneeko and people who agree with his points here. If you're going to sit here and try to go to such a defense over stuff like this, then we're going to assume you have different motives because there's no reason to sit here and debate this in the first place. Now, if people live in a country where the age of consent is 16 and it's been socially accepted to do that for a long period of time, then fine go live in that country but that doesn't mean like the country of the united states who yes we have certain states that the age of consent is 16 but you're still a child under your parents until you turn 18 here in the united states that doesn't mean we have to change our social way of living and what has been socially structured and set up for such a long period of time i don't even care if there was bad ill or bad intent with it it's been proven to work for me i'm glad that when i was the age of 18 i became an adult i'm glad i wasn't an adult at 16 or 17 because I wasn't ready at 16 or 17. I was a lot more advanced to like in schooling. Like I was doing better in schooling than most of my class. I did end up going to college. I did better in college than most of the other people in college were doing. But again, I wasn't ready at 16. I needed those two extra years to prepare myself for that. And that's my own personal example and that won't apply to everyone. And I understand that. Some people do have to move out on their own at 16 and they have to go through that. And I feel bad for them. But if you have the option to be with your parents until you're 18, take that opportunity. Save up money. Do what you got to do again this whole idea that you can marry somebody who's just at least mentally and physically mature and then boom they can get married that's so dumb because again when is someone actually mentally mature how do you know they're mentally mature is it just going to be like oh like if you want to settle down if you want to marry if you want to work hard if you want to raise children if you want to be under god that doesn't make you mentally mature there are different standards to everybody on what mentally mature is so again i think sneeko's argument 
argument is really dumb. I think people who share that argument with Sneeko are really, really dumb. Do I feel like Moist Critical did a bad job with this debate? A little bit here and there. I bet the full debate he has better points and he, I can see more of what he's talking about. Most of these clips were just on Sneeko's side of things, but even some of these clips weren't that bad of Moist Critical. I don't think he did that bad. I just feel like there are certain things that I don't agree with him. I don't agree with him like on the transgender surgery thing. I don't believe a child should be able to do it even if all parties consent. No, you should not be physically altering a child's body that's a long-term effect. You shouldn't be able to do that. Some people like to bring up, oh, well, you can go pierce, you know, a, a girl's ears at the age of like 14, 15, 16, whatever. But that's not life altering. Like the holes can close, you know? I mean, I don't get that argument with it. But again, that's a whole different argument. I'm not even trying to talk about that. I'm just trying to talk about the whole age of consent argument that Sneeko and Moist Critical had. But regardless, that's my opinion. I can go more into this. So if you guys have questions and you guys want me to talk about it more, I'll be fine with that. If you're here just to try to shit on me or hate on me because of my opinion or whatever, I strongly advise you to ask constructive questions and then I can give you more of my opinion. Or if you want to talk one-on-one, -on -one, my Discord is always available. You can go down below in the description or in the pinned comment, I will have it. A link to my Discord and you can add me on Discord. And we can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation if you feel comfortable enough to do that. But I strongly urge people not to come here just to say something mean or condescending or insulting. Like try to ask constructive questions and informative questions so I can try to answer those or give me your own opinion and I'd be more than happy to read it and get another person's perspective on it. But let me know, do you think Moist Critical got cooked in this or not? Am I missing out clips that I should have seen? These are just some of the more bigger clips that I've seen. And again, I don't feel like Moist Critical was cooked that bad. It wasn't that bad. It's just that Moist Critical clearly didn't do enough research and his own opinions don't seem fully formed anyways. But I feel like Moist Critical can get over that. He can he can, he can recover. He'll be fine. I think Sneeko reputation has been a lot more damaged than what happened to Moist Critical here. Like, Sneeko's dealing with effects that's happened years ago compared to what Moist Critical is going through with this debate. But regardless, let me know what your guys' opinions are down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys all next time. Peace.